What's up, guys? Vince Ryder here. Um, pretty much a little announcement. I'm going to be out of town tomorrow, so I'm doing this very early, as I usually do. But I just want to actually just, you know, <laughs> let you know. Um, yeah, out of town. And pretty much, I don't know what content I'll make out of that, but follow my Discord if you want to really know what's really going on. Since I'm going to be doing somewhat of a mini vacation, sort of. And when I mean mini, I mean just a one-night thing, just to get out of town, because... I've been staying in the same place and I yo, I need to I need to go out at least. Just enjoy at least a bit of this summer or at least at this, you know, upcoming fall that I can at least enjoy it in the woods. So I'm going out in the woods, in the wilderness, which kind of feels like the same thing. There was this channel called Mr. Sujano, and pretty much he would go camping almost all the freaking time. I love his videos. He's part of the emulation community and pretty much me being part of it. I, you know, check out his news in terms of gaming news and, you know, any new games out there. You know, I got it from him, but he always goes camping. He always like always outdoors and to the point where I'm starting to think he works somewhere out there in terms that that is involved either camping or him being in the woods. Either he's like a lumberjack some somebody or whatever. And he's from Canada. He's just up there just camping, camping, <laughs> just woods everywhere. It's like he always starts off with a video. I'm camping again. <laughs> I wonder if I can really do this to his voice. Uh, save your state. Anyways, um yeah. So it, that's pretty much what it's gonna feel like for me. I'm just randomly not really going camping, but I'm going to the woods in Yosemite Park, you know, because I live in California. Um, but yeah, hopefully no wildfires happening there. <laughs> I'll stop. Um, but other than that, um, there's also haven't been a lot of videos. I've just been busy with work. You know, I am really looking forward to this like new job that I'm sort of like researching or something like that. And also finish, finishing my classes as well. It's that time. Um, <laughs> I understand I'm still in my 20s, so of course I would be in college. But yeah, let's uh let's talk about a couple things because I do not have like the typical topic segment organization that I usually have when it comes down to these types of podcasts and stuff like that. If anything, I just basically just have like topics here laid out and I'm just gonna talk about them. So it's a mix of gaming, it's a mix of serious news, it's a mix of all like a bunch of other stuff where you know I can easily talk about news that I don't care, like the whole Logan Paul uh controversy, which I could have cared less to be honest. I just saw it and I'm just like, Yeah, that happened. Okay. <laughs> and what what else? Like like the, there's some other stuff as well, but you can already tell I don't care. But other than that, yeah, let's talk about just a little bit of something I could be thinking. And that's One Piece. My God, what a good movie. I did my review for it. I did my, you know, like my opinions of like, you know, One Piece and, you know, the, the Netflix series. Boy, did it deliver. I loved it. Spoiler alert. It was good. It was so good. I'm just I just can't stop thinking about season two. I can't stop thinking about like what will Robin look like? What will Vivi look like? Like, like what is Skypea? Like how to get a you know, tackle that one, like going up to the sky or whatever, like the, the possibilities are just endless. And pretty much I just been rewatching one piece on Netflix so far, and I just couldn't get enough of it. Um, but there is a couple other shows that I've been finishing. I finished Rent a Girlfriend uh, season one because I did review season two of Rent a Girlfriend. So that's what what I had going on, and my God, season one was crazier than season two, and I'm just looking forward to season three. Also, um, Star Driver is another anime that I'm gonna be finishing. Only one more episode, and that's it. That's it. And uh, yeah, that's all I pretty much have. Uh, there is some stuff that I really want to talk about, like the whole Starfield thing controversy. Even though, like you know, Starfield is successful no matter what. For whatever reason, Starfield got me, you know, really wanting to play uh, No Man's Sky, even though, like, like, of course, I wouldn't play Starfield because my PC wouldn't handle it. My PC is going through a lot of things. Uh, it just randomly shut down just out of nowhere when I was playing Bum Rush Cyberpunk. Uh, that was sad. 
and I love Cyberpunk. I'm trying to finish the damn game, and out of nowhere, my 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 PC just like boop, it just went all black. It just went dark, and it started glitching. It was like, what the heck is happening? So, you know, I have no idea if this is gonna be the year where my PC is literally gonna die. If so, then that's gonna suck. Especially for me, knowing that I don't have a lot of money. And I really don't wanna, you know, there's been so many ways of me wanting money. This whole last few weeks has been me focusing about having a job before Christmas. I have a my side job, but I really want another job to actually sort of like counter it and make sure that I have a good amount of flow of money. But boy, am I not making a lot for this, you know, this uh, side job that I'm doing, which, you know, is sad. So, you know, everything is just up in the air at this point, you know, because for those that don't know, my uh, my AdSense is gone. I can... I could easily just ask for you guys to like, hey, you know, I have a PayPal. God, I do not want to do that. I I don't want to be looked at like as that person that is e-begging. And I don't like e-begging or asking for money. And I know you guys are not going to really give me your money at all because the majority of my audience are just little kids. They don't even have a credit card or anything like that. So, yeah, that's just great. But, uh, God, I just I just need money. <laughs> The amount of stuff that I wanted is up to the list. And I don't want to rely on Christmas or my birthday to actually get those things because, well, I'm a grown ass man. Um, yeah. So pretty much what what else? Oh, yeah. Another thing about Starfield is the whole pronouns, controversy, stuff like that. And uh, I can't believe I'm about to tell you my opinions about it because I've been staying away this conversation. But here in Vince Talk, we don't this. Vince Talk, here's the thing about the Vince Talk series, about, you know, the Vince Talk podcast, or just basically my content in general, is that, you know, you know very well that I do not give a damn about, you know, anyone's opinions, whether they're offended here and there. The thing is, is that I don't have a lot of people in my audience that are offended. I know that, you know, you kids are smart nowadays and the people that are in my community that I have created are smart and understandable. And whenever I talk about certain things that I probably like, you know, might get in trouble, I always do it in such a kind of way where I'm like, listen, it's just my opinions. You don't need to take my opinion seriously. Please, for the love of God, do not take anything what I say seriously. Just look at my movie reviews. Do you think you gotta take that seriously? God, just wait till Equalizer Tree review is gonna, you know, and then it's gonna be like a whole schmegabang of a freaking word salad. That's what it literally is. The, the freaking One Piece is just me fanboy and how much I love it, and I just don't care like all the criticisms or all the analysis that I want to. I don't give a damn. I don't give it. I mean, it's a ten out of ten. Shoot, I give freaking Mobius a ten out of ten. I give the worst movies. I literally thought Eternals was a banger and boy was that the worst movie <laughs> that disney has put out there but even i was good that's why you never see me or actually see a review of mine when it comes down to reviewing the new mermaid ain't no way i'm watching that you know why because i'm gonna say it's good <laughs> because i'm that person i'm that optimistic i'm that hungry for escapism and just whatever you know i just have everything in and I usually just daydream when certain boring things happen to the point where I'm like yeah it's good but this other part this other part I, yeah I forgot about it <laughs> I forget all the bad parts here and there I forget if I should criticize this and it gets to the point of like you know whether I'm criticizing it or not like a certain scene that is bad it always goes into like a 180 of just me being like Man, I don't even know what happened to the scene. I kind of like it there. You know, that's just me in a sense, okay? Not because I'm drunk when I'm doing these reviews. I just, I, I, I'm just so numb with life. I'm just like, I, I don't care anymore. I really don't. And you already know, like, that's the thing about, you know, aging and just, you know, you know, sort of like your, you know, last few years of in your 20s where the point you're just like, the moment I turn 30, it wouldn't be a surprise. Listen, I've been 30 for five years already. And my God, it, it, it's going to be a whole lot of like, I don't give a damn type of attitude I'm giving. You know, L let's be honest. Like, look at the comments that I haven't respond yet. And I am guilty for that. But for me, when it comes down to controversies, like, you know, like, especially with, with the pronouns thing, Starfield, I don't care. Now, 
That being said, there's moments. There is moments where I do think of that, okay? And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, um, a YouTuber named, I, what is his name, Az or something? He's from the Nerdrotic Podcast and Geeks and Gamers. People that I'm sub, sub to is the these two podcasts. And yeah, that might be controversial. Oh, Viz, you support a ride? Blah, blah, blah. Man, how would I not be? <laughs> Honestly. Anyways, um, but... To be, you know, fair, yeah, I'm apolitical and very, you know, I'm just like a person that just looks at both sides. And the thing is, is that I support any person and I'm from the LGBT plus community and I don't know why this is controversial. People have the right to actually be either in the right or the left. It. What does your gender matter? What does your pronouns matter? If you're either in these sides, it doesn't matter at all. I'm by. I hate Biden. I, was, I say it right now. Who, who the heck cares about this guy anymore? The dude is a, like, like he's out of here. He's out of here. It's the same thing with Trump. I don't like Trump either. I don't like Biden. Get them out of here. Like, can we just have a new, better president or something? For crying out loud. This country is like, I swear. That's just my opinions. That's my opinions. You're entitled to your own opinions, but that's my opinions. Here's the thing is that this is not political when it comes down to the old Starfield with pronouns thing. That's in every game. Every game has that. But the thing is, it's different because it's usually male or female. But now it's like, you know, what is your pronouns? And I haven't touched Starfield. I am poor. You think I have Starfield? You think that's going to work on my PC? It will blow up my PC and blow up this house that my parents work hard on. Yeah, it will blow up everything. Because guess what? I'm freaking playing that on my Dell PC. Absolutely, it will break. Because there ain't no way in hell I'm spending almost $100 on Starfield. Ain't gonna happen. Unless I'm getting big money. If I'm getting big money, get a Starfield, get an Xbox, get a PC, some new shoes, and I'm done. I'm good for, you know, basically all year. Shoot, get a get, get some like you know go to Cheesecake Factory, get a couple cheesecakes, man. Shoot, I wish I had money like that. A lot of people like me wish I had money like that. But guess what? We don't live in that life because that's just a dream. It's just not reality, you know. Because apparently I don't work hard enough. But no, it's this damn economy we're in. I don't know. I'm ranting. I'm I'm doing my old man rants. But here's the thing. So the pronouns. The thing is, is that. From what my understanding is, listening to the rights, especially for this, like, you know, kind of podcast being Geese Gamers and Nadrotic, aka the Daily Wire of of gaming or nerd culture, in a sense, people say that, you know, and it's not like, you know, Clownfish, where Clownfish is like, doesn't matter who you are, you know, like, at all. And the same thing with Tipster or, like, you know, Review Tick USA, where people think they're woke, but they're not. They're just like... They're giving their opinions and they're announcing the things that you're right or wrong. Heisen Piker. Oh God, now that's a that 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 guy. I don't. I just can't stand with. Okay, I just don't. You know, and has the same politics with Tipster. But the difference is, is that for Tipster, because you know, like he's like somewhat like woke and pretty much supports the community as well, which you know I appreciate. That he at least respects both sides. And the thing is, is that you cannot demonize both sides. That's the same thing with religion. You know, if, for example, it's like, you know, it's me, it's like me being Christian and me just like, you know, criticizing, you know, Islam or people that are Muslim and saying like, oh, they're evil. Oh, they're, no, they're not. Okay. That's no, that would just be wrong. Okay. Demonizing any group is wrong, except if it's a group of, you know, criminals that prey on children or a group of, you know, just, you know, stuff like that, then, you know, yeah, pretty much they are demonized. They should be. But at the same time, people that have their different beliefs and different, shoot, I don't, I don't like people with the whole astrology thing. Like, what the heck is that? Oh, like you're, you're an Aquarius. You're a freaking, you know, Scorpio. What the hell does that mean? But you know what? Do you, do you. If that makes you happy, it should make you happy. I'm just, you know, a bi person that just loves reading books about, you know, guys kissing each other. And guess what? At the beginning of my channel, there is a lot of people that look at my content. And still to this day, I question, why are you here? 
and they say like, oh, I don't like this gay stuff. The hell are you here for? You don't need to watch this. This is pointless if you're here in my channel commenting and saying that you don't like this gay stuff. Then why on earth are you here? It is the most dumbest thing. Thank you for your views. Thanks for the views. Because my gosh, what an unbelievable thing. Like I swear, I got comments like that. And I got high class homos, I'm boyfriends. And it's sickening. It, I hate it. Because why on earth are you watching my videos? Go watch something else. Oh, I'm not into this gay stuff or what? Like, what the hell? And it's usually these little damn kids. They don't know what they're thinking. They don't think straight. Because you're children. God. But other than that, the whole pronouns, and I'm back at it again because I got to talk about it to the point where I have to, you know, like, you know, go to a, a much more better place to actually just, because the AC is going to be loud. I have the AC on. I just didn't know I had it on. But yeah. Anyways, you know, for as it's not a surprise, but the thing is, is that I don't understand how it's like a very big deal or the rant, but there is a significant belief through him that he, why he actually made the rant, why he's angry, why he's actually, you know, yelling into the camera and calling out Bethesda about this, even though it's not a big deal at all. There is a significance. There is a, and I guess, you know, me being in political class, like I sort of like am taught to actually have this, this, you know, this sense of that other people, there are certain reasons why they yell and stuff like that. There are certain people like, you know, in the LGBT plus community that are angry because when you criticize just a little bit of the LGBT plus community, they get heated because there is something internal inside of them that caused them to act that way, to yell, to respond to in a violent manner because it's reminding them of the trauma that they go through. And maybe not saying that there is probably, you know, maybe, yes, maybe not, that there's somewhat trauma of like, you know, as, you know, giving his rant of pronouns or anything like that, which I don't believe, but... There is a deeper meaning. It's just that in that moment, in that viral moment that someone clipped and especially, you know, um, servicing an audience that has the same beliefs as him, like, of course, he would actually make this viral take and not really a viral take. He would just make this take in general. Some of us have moments in our lives where we get pissed, where we get angry. Shoot, I got angry a few minutes ago because I'm ranting about these dumb comments in my channel that I have the rights, I have the rights to talk about, to yell about. And, you know, for as yelling about, you know, pronouns, even though it's kind of like, you know, pointless, I'm like, dude, it's just pronouns, what the heck? <laughs> but it makes sense, you know, sort of like for my understanding, it's like he paid for the game, it's his rights actually, you know, criticizing it, even though it's, he, it's wrong because it's his money. And most people might disagree with that. Uh, there's a lot of this conversation and you can already tell I'm not the type of person to actually really, you know, make videos of these like certain topics here and there and everything. Shoot, I remember seeing the whole doctor disrespect. I don't believe that he should ever be canceled for like, you know, like, you know, I feel like, you know, there are certain things that he said and did that pretty much like a lot. Like he deserves to lose the the sponsor or Starfield sponsor. I don't even know if he was sponsored by Starfield for like you know really making that. But like you know like there's some some of us have certain you know opinions and ideas where some of us are pretty much like you know like we have to keep it to ourselves. And I know that my channel is not that big enough to actually strike a certain amount of controversy for anything I said. I mean, shoot, even this this webtoon that I read were like, you know, here's the thing about me with pronouns. I'm not a fan of it. I'm got to be honest. I'm not a fan of pronouns. And it's not because that I'm against like people with their own pronouns or gender or something like that. You do you. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. It's not a belief. It's just an opinion. I believe that people have the rights to actually use pronouns if they want to. But for me personally, if I don't know you, then why should I ever use pronouns in the first place at all? Unless I know you. Unless you want to say, you know, have this like personal talk to me like, hey, Vince, I would appreciate it if you use my pronouns and stuff like that. 
But first off, like, yes, yeah, I'll, I'll happy, I'll use them. I'm not sure where the, you know, I still to this day am still new to what comes down to pronouns because I don't really care about using it much. Especially for me, you don't see pronouns at all when when I actually talk about any anyone. When it comes down to just like my profile or anything, I never use he or him because those are actually my pronouns, if we got to be honest. But at the same time, I don't really use them. And especially when I still have people like wondering what gender or something like that, they would think I'm either trans or like, you know, you know, some, you know, binaural, some, some kind of like a made up gender that, you know, that they think I'm a part of that is in some other communities within the LGBT spectrum. But that's not true. I'm just a dude. I just so happen to be bi. And I have a huge love within the LGBT plus community in terms of entertainment, in terms of like, you know, because for once I actually get to read and actually enjoy content that is from the same community that I'm from, but they're not about politics. They're not about your pronouns or any of that ridiculous stuff that the right likes to use. They're just making content, just content about same sex, you know, couples that stories about like, you know, Heartstopper, like like, you know, boyfriends that I enjoy that, you know, but there's other ones that are actually a better representation of the LGBT plus community, like, you know, like Summer Nights, and, you know, and Night Owls, and also just like a whole numerous am amounts of content. And I'm the channel that is surrounded in that spectrum of just like having that kind of content because I love it. Because there's other people that have the same interests as that. There's a lot of people on my channel that are afraid of like, you know, knowing like, you know, who they are or something like that. Afraid to be who they are. And you should be, you know, either if like, you know, you were thinking about either being trans, being gay, being lesbian or something like that. I'm the first to tell you like, you should be who you want to be. But I also say the same thing. Like if you want to be, you know, Muslim, Christian, if you want to be you know, conservative, if you want to be progressive, if you want to be Republican, if you want to be Democrat, you should have the rights. You do you. That's what I say. People should have the rights to live their life and anything like that. And if you want to pr use pronouns, even though I don't use them, then hey, don't let my opinion stop you. Be who you want to be. It's the most simplest fact that I'm trying to say that I don't understand. Why anyone like me gets in trouble of saying that? Because I'm not showing any hatred at all. I don't even know what to do with you if you don't like me. That's okay. But I'm telling you the truth. Like, you know, do you. You know, because when you grow up, and maybe I'm speaking to the ones that are a bit younger. When you grow up, you're going to understand that way more deeper of, under, you know, like, like wanting what you want because it's going to be determined in your life. Trust me, I learned that the hard way, knowing that I actually wanted to be in like, you know, in this church school and I wanted to be in like, you know, accountant and I hated it. I hated it. It's the worst thing ever. And I, I wish I just could be a writer and director or something like that. I wish I could actually find, you know, like, you know, be a YouTuber in a younger age or something, you know, because I didn't know what I want. And many, many of us don't know what we want. But for like any of this conversation with the whole thing about like as, you know, doing this rant of like, you know, pronouns and stuff like that, it is kind of like, you know, you know, the way he puts it just makes him look insane. And it's like, it's something, it's one of those moments like, you know, it triggers him, but why is it though? Like there is probably a message or something that he's protesting because he made that, you know, you always got to understand the reasoning of why people act this way when their beliefs gets over their head, you know? But that's that's up to him. And pretty much, you know, there's certain like, you know, karma or, or karma or consequences behind whatever you say in the internet, you know, from either anyone's opinions or legally. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much where I ended. All I say, all I can say is that from this, you know, situation with as giving his opinions and stuff like that, that's that's for him and just someone clipped it and made it viral. And you see other opinions that disagree with him that are also bigger. Like they're now, you know, they're, they're not like, you know, beginning to be viral. Like because he's viral, like he's, you know, sort of like getting criticized and bashed by people that disagree with him. But 
there's actually a deeper meaning. And I believe that. I believe there's a deeper meaning to all of that. I don't think he's a bad person. I think he just had a crazy take. Not a bad take, but just a crazy take. And saying that, you know, oh, you know, understand like us, like California, like modern day type stuff. Maybe he got tired of just like the amount of stuff that are quote unquote woke that are pretty much within the media that he just doesn't like agree with. Because there is that kind of like stereotype out there in the internet that comes from it. And it's beginning, you know, just a good amount of people or at least a lot of people like him are just beginning to be target of that. And I talked about those like, you know, criticisms and moments, you know. There's even this webtoon that actually had pronouns. And I literally was like, okay, I'm not sure what this is. Because it was literally like a, a webtoon. It was a webtoon because I usually read webtoons in my channel. And it was a fantasy webtoon. And this person that was supposedly like, you know, a character within the story was like, hello, my name is, you know, blah, 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 Cynthia or whatever. And my pronouns. And I'm like, that just doesn't add to the immersion at all when it comes down to and it's just weird to me it's like it, what because you never see that in boyfriends you never see that in heartstopper where like if nick and charlie from heartstopper introduced themselves to like you know nick introducing to charlie ne not once used the pronouns they didn't use no pronouns at all because why would you do that when you are being introduced to someone else if i introduce myself to you I'll tell you like, yo, what's up? My, my name is Vince. How you doing? And I never tell you my pronouns. Like my pronouns? Like, no, no, I don't. And maybe it's different for other people that you don't know what their really real gender is or what they pre be prefer as. And for me personally, you know, I'm a dude. There's nothing to erase that. There's no surroundings, so, you know, dance around it, like all of that. No, there's no freaking economics or math. Or, no, I'm just a dude. You see my face. If I show you my face right now, yep, Vince is a dude. Thank you. Uh, there's, I don't know how that's a surprise to anyone, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm a dude. Do I like being a dude? I can tell you personally, no, I hate it. But, I, you know, and most of the times, yeah, pretty much the channel really... <laughs> Really showcase that I'm not really a dude in the inside, but in the outside, yeah, I'm a guy. And what am I supposed to do with it, right? Anyways, yeah, enough of that. That's just what I want to talk about. There's also some other news that I just want to share. But I know I just got that a little too long and pretty much I apologize. Other than that, um, also, uh, yeah, EDP got caught again. EDP 445, a predator, you know what, that just can't stop what he's doing and he got caught by none other than this famous person named Gideon so that was insane like you know <laughs> I was like when is this guy gonna be put behind bars if he's gonna keep repeating this it, it's like you know there's no place for him out there the fact that he's still doing this and I thought the first time he got caught by what is it like the pred poachers or something like that even though they didn't do it correctly and they did it wrong the way that he tried to, they tried to actually, you know, you know, fight back these Preds out there. Um, pretty much, like, <laughs> it, it, it didn't really, you know, it, it's the reason why EDP is still walking scot-free out here. And it's like, why is not behind bars? You know who else should be behind bars? Freaking Chris Chan. Chris Chan, in the news, from what I heard, according uh, to some news sites or something like Smokey or Tipster, uh, that talked about this, you know, uh, pretty much, yeah, Chris Chan, you know, the same one that actually used his, you know, uh, you know, his reasons for being trans is the reason why, like, he's trying to actually get, you know, have an easier way with women, which is disgusting to think about. And also, like, he did something to his mom, which I'm not going to say. If you know, you know, just look it up, you know. Chris Chan's mom, and you'll see what I mean, but I am not going to say that here because YouTube just loves age restricting me. I'm kidding. But, you know, they, I just, I am now, an, I do not want to be YouTube's easy target. It ain't happening. So if you know, you know. And he's walking scot-free back to his mom. Like, it's like, like, you're not supposed to be back with your mom. That's the whole point of something. 
And all of his, like, you know, all his arrests has just been, you know, it's it's all gone. Just out of nowhere, like, it's just been dismissed. It doesn't make sense. He's supposed to be right in jail. <laughs> Two years ain't enough. But no, he's, like, free. He's a free man. Not a woman. Man. Like, it's just, like, what is happening? What is happening? Like, this person, this... The amount, like, of course, the whole thing about him being trans and using that to take an advantage of other women is also, you know, is disgusting. and just shows, like, people within the trans and LGBT plus community a, a bad light. As if it's a bad light already as it is. But the whole situation with his mother, listen, I made a whole rant about it. I'm not going to do it again. I don't need to give you that type of energy because it's not, it's, it's pointless at this point. But why? Just, just why? It, it's just sickening. I just don't know what's happening. Just like, <laughs> I really don't like Christian, but uh, man, this just adds to it. Anyways, let's get into some fun news. Switch 2. Switch 2 is coming. I, listen, I feel like they're going to call it something else or something like that, but I don't freaking know. I just got to have to wait when we get to the, you know, Nintendo Direct, which would be coming at any time soon. But yeah, Switch 2. So pretty much, you know, they just game like I from what I heard, it's going to have like because there's a lot of talk about Switch 2. And I just decided to add this because it's gaming related, you know, even though like the whole Starfield thing is gaming related, even though it feels like politics or whatever news and viral news or something like that. It's gaming, but, you know, again, I said in the beginning, there's going to be a mix of, like, gaming and other news, like, you know, surrounding these, you know, difference. <laughs> this one segment I have in this video. But, yeah, it was like, I heard it was, like, announced in, like, Gamescom, and they were game testing Breath of the Wild for some reason. It could have been, like, Tears of the Kingdom, but okay. And it's going to have backwards compatibility, which I believe it is. Some people don't think so. But I believe so. And that's it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about me. I don't care about Nintendo or the Switch. Like, I'm good with mine. But I'm just wondering if this Switch is going to have the same levels as the X, of the new Xbox and the PS5. It has to. Like, what are, we, what are you doing, Nintendo? All the money you have and you just go lower grade. Like, I don't... What are they trying to do? Be family friendly with the amount of content they put out. It's insane. I don't know. But um, <laughs> yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'm subscribed, like, comment, all that jazz. I feel like I spent too much time on the whole Starfield pronouns thing. I apologize. It, it, it's a lot to actually talk about because it's not an easy thing to tackle. At least for me, in a sense. You know, I leave it to the professionals, okay? But for me, eh, I don't know. I, don't, I forgot what I said already. Anyway, see you when I see you. And yeah, new videos next. Hopefully, Down to Earth comes back. And, you know, other BLs because my Friday list is just melting away. <laughs> I don't even know if I have enough videos for this particular weekend, to be honest. But uh, I have to get back to work. And one love and a peace.